Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. Getting ready to set up for the MB. What a beautiful morning. Sun is rising, and you can see that full moon there and that shine glistening off a beautiful ocean. Huge opa, bluefin tuna. We've got white sea bass biting, some great yellowtail action in many areas. You know what time it is. We're setting up for the MB. Stay tuned. It's coming up yeah, now. baby! Check out that beautiful Opa taken on a four-day trip with Let's Talk Hookup radio show. They're out there on the Royal Star, and that fish weighed 147 pounds. Opa are fully warm-blooded. Let's jump over to the Polaris Supreme. The Supreme's reporting 30 bluefin tuna over 100 pounds. Those big fish have been absent for a while, and it is so good to see them back, perhaps this is the point in time when it all turns around and we're back into the big fish. It certainly looks promising. And look what else I found. In the Ensenada Boatyard Marina, the GW. That's definitely the GW. And from my memory of being a young kid fishing Belmont Pier, this was the vessel that I grew up on. Just check it out, boys. This is a relic. 1938, they built this fine craft. It sunk twice. The old GW. Lots of barracuda and sand bass on that puppy. It's amazing what you find down here in Ensenada where the boats come to die. But somebody has big dreams of making a big sport fish industry or something okay that's all and look what else i found in the ensenada boatyard marina the gw hold on a minute there sean that is not the gw according to many sport fishing experts that is 100 percent the city of redondo Friedman Adventures launched an investigation to see how an error like this could have possibly been made. Cheers! Well, that pretty much explains everything. Hey, did you ever fish on the city of Redondo? Have any great city of Redondo stories? Leave a comment down below. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, on this lovely Monday morning. Full moon, sun's rising, there's dolphin playing in the surf. It is gorgeous. And in terms of sport fishing, man, there were some big stories that took place, and then we're going to catch you up on, on the morning briefing here this morning. Big bluefin turn on the Polaris Supreme. How about that beautiful Opa, gorgeous fish gaffed by Diego Nuno on board the Royal Star a magnificent catch. And of course, we've got Sean Morgan on the loose in beautiful Ensenada, Baja, California, thinking that the GW was the city of Redondo or vice versa. I don't know. He's all confused down there. And he's got me confused also. Coronado Island still biting. Our friend Tom Durr out of Redondo on the Pescador with some impressive big yellowtail. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, something tells me I'm going to need that for my raspy voice this morning. It's so good to be with each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us on the morning briefing, as thousands of you do every single day. And we deeply appreciate it. Hit that like button. Please share these videos with the friends. Of course, subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel and tick the little bell. You'll be notified when there is new content. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Apple Podcasts, Spotify. It is great to be back with you all. So much to cover. Let's first of all talk independence. They are on an eight-day trip experiencing really good yellowfin tuna fishing, some yellowtail, 
some nice Wahoo catches. Those eight-day trips here have been really, really good. The XL also experiencing some really good fishing. So down there, several hundred miles down the Baja coast, the Long Range Boys out of San Diego are enjoying some really great fishing. Let's move you up to Ensenada, 70 miles below the border, where I said Sean Morgan's on the loose. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? He's talking about this boat that he grew up on and how wonderful a memory it was, and he was looking at the wrong boat. That, I got to tell you, is pretty funny stuff. All right, down there at Ensenada, we've got a variety of great sport fishing opportunities for you. 70-mile drive is all it is. Several great operators down there. Um, you know, you can go to Botes Juanitos. That's a good one. Arnie Sport Fishing, Mara Sport Fishing, Blackfin Sport Fishing, to name a few of the really good guys down there. And there are others also offshore. They're catching Kelp Patty Yellowtail. If you find that right Kelp Patty, that's very important, obviously. There's some bluefin tuna on the Mad Mac type lures. Been a couple of Dorado taken here recently. Starting to see an influx of that. So that's all good. Offshore, some of that big bonita. Inshore, we've got those yellowtail roaming around. Weekdays are great because you have less boat pressure. You'll see a bird school. You'll run over to it. You'll throw a surface iron, take a couple grinds, and pray to God that you get a bite. Nice fish, too. 12 to 20 pound fish mixed up with that. Some big bonita also. There's great calico and sand bass fishing. If you focus on that, plenty of rockfish, some barracuda flurries. And Sonata is really going well. And of course, we like to look there because so many of you like to fish in Ensenada, but also it's a preview of things to come to Southern California. And that is always really great stuff. Let's talk Bluefin Tuna out of San Diego. Very hit and miss for the day and a half. And overnight boats, the Polaris Supreme, however, ended up with 55 Bluefin Tuna. I think it was a three-day trip, two-day trip. And 30 of those fish were over. 100 pounds. We haven't seen a score on that big fish for quite some time. So hopefully that is the dinner bell ringing and those big bluefin tuna are going to get back in the picture again. We had several weeks in a row of steady fishing on those giant bluefin tuna, 100 to 200 plus pound fish. And it's been out of the picture now until we had this score on the Supreme. Today will be very interesting to see if we can get more of those fish. Nighttime bite for most everybody has been down. There's been some good kite fishing during the daytime on that bigger grade tuna up here around San Clemente Island, out towards San Nicholas Island. But overall, it's been tough. And then San Diego, the local guys, and I mean by that day and a half guys, uh, you know, it's hit and miss. Sometimes some guys will come up with some good scores. Other times they are falling back and fishing the kelp. So we'll see where this all goes right now. There's some signs of life, but overall, it's very hit and miss. Some boats get them. Most boats just get a few bluefin tuna right now, and a lot are focused in on that kelp patty yellowtail fishing, because when you find that right kelp patty, it can go absolutely wide open. Pegasus, 82 yellowtail for 17 guys on a two-day trip. Several other boats we're looking at had really good scores. The Islander on a multi-day trip with over 100 yellowtail. Few more Dorado starting to sneak in there and some smaller grade bluefin at times you can get a good hit on that bft also dan out of san diego but once again many guys with two fish five fish stuff like that mixed in with it the full day boats out of san diego the grande yesterday 34 guys 12 bluefin tuna after a couple of days of really slow fishing for the full day boats guys that leave in the morning come back that very same afternoon the Grande, however, after those 12 fish, was feeling very optimistic because of what they saw. They saw more bluefin than they've seen in the past 72 hours, leading them to believe that maybe things are about to change for those guys. And really, if you look at the entire week, they've had some great fishing on full day fishing. Yesterday on the San Diego, they had some kids out there enjoying the yellowtail action on the kelps. 61 yellowtail and one Dorado. Find that right kelp patty and you can get well in a hurry. And a lot of that kelp patty fish is really, really nice. We're talking fish in the, well, you know, 12 to 18 pound class. Some fish as small as eight pounds, some as big as 20 plus pounds. There's some nice kelp patty fish. Most times you can fish 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon with a good hot bait. There's some surface iron fish also, but mostly a bait bite. Sometimes you'll have to drop down, however, to the 25 pound circle hooks, a little bit but smaller circle hook seems to be working best. But I would talk to your crew members who have the very latest intel 
make friends with a crew member. They're there to help you. They want you to succeed. It's always a really good idea. So some of that kelp patty fishing still really good. And also, the Royal Star had really good fishing on the kelps, but that's where they picked off that beautiful, gorgeous opa. So good to see my friend Diego Nuno, who's a spectacular ser humano, a spectacular human being. Diego, nice going. Thanks for the video. Awesome stuff. No question about it. Let's talk the islands, and we're going to talk Coronado Islands right now, where that yellow bite continues strong. Yellowtail fishing at the Coronado Islands is as good as it's been for many, many years. Steady, excellent fishing. The Point Loma yesterday, 88. Yellowtail, how can it get any better than that? A lot of surface iron fish, a lot of bait fish, really nice grade too. Anywhere from 8 to 20 plus pounds, most of it 15 to 20 gorgeous fish and biting full speed. And remember, if you didn't listen to that live interview we did with Marcus Fain the other day, he goes through in painstaking detail exactly how to throw the iron on these fish, where to throw it, and how to wind on it. Go back and listen to that great interview. Lorenzo Marcial, he was on the yacht or the charter, little charter boat called the Into the Depths. By 12 noon, they were limited out on Yellowtail. Great bite, excellent fishing at the islands right now, and it is not slowing down at all. Every one of those fish, I believe, on the Into the Depths with Lorenzo was caught on the surface iron, or 90%. For sure, that is fun stuff. Watching those yellows blow up on that surface iron. Great fishing at the Coronado Islands. Tax problems, you need to call Tim Marquez. He's a great guy. And he's been doing taxes for 35 years. He'll take great care of you. And if you have heating and or air conditioning needs, you'll want to see our friend John Lopez at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. John's a great guy. Give either one of those two or both those guys a call today. They'll take really good care of you. All right, let's go to San Clemente Island where we saw some really great fishing going on, especially, well, not especially, but a great trip on board the Thunderbird for the Filipino Mafia. Those guys are awesome, and they are good fishermen, and man, they bring luck with them just about everywhere they go. Great trip on the Thunderbird for the Mafia. 30 white sea bass, 33 on the Yellowtail, a halibut. They had some bass and rockfish and a whole bunch of other stuff. My hat's off to you boys. Nice going, way to thump them. Thunderbird out of Davies Locker, Newport Beach, California. San Clemente Island still got that squid. Your dropper loop fishing in the early morning. Nice flash on the white sea bass for them. Of course, they're exploiting and fishing near those squid nests. And when you have those squid nests, all kinds of predators are going to be on, including some really big yellowtail, as well as white sea bass and other predators too. So that is the magnet that is attracting those fish. Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, sorry, San Pedro, California, 26 on the Yellowtail. Nice hit for them. The Fury with 38 white sea bass out of Dana Point Sport Fishing. Uh, pardon me, what did I say? 38 Yellowtail and one white sea bass. I hope I got that right. Really great fishing going on at San Clemente Island on a gorgeous, beautiful morning with that full moon, flat calm seas, no wind at all. It's a beautiful morning. I can see a gorgeous sunrise right now. It can't get much better. At Catalina Island, the El Patron has been doing their thing out of Long Beach sport fishing and cranking excellent numbers. They had a couple of yellowtail, really good bass fishing for them. 56 on the Calico Bass, 19 anglers and two yellowtail. They've had some great yellowtail action here recently on board the El Patron and they continue their 5 a.m. departures over to the island, and they've been doing fantastic, great fishing, limited load. You're going to love it. Get on the El Patron by going to www.longbeachswordfishing.org. We bounce you up into the Channel Islands area, and there's some good paracuda fishing for many of the boats up there around the islands. We haven't seen a big white sea bass score here recently in the last few days, unless somebody's hiding a score that'll pop up maybe later today. And if that happens, of course, we'll have it for you. There's been some big sea bass scores at times up there. And man, I'll tell you, that place is looking juicy and really, really good. We had fish, that is, uh, white sea bass out of Santa Barbara. The Endeavors had some really magnificent trips. It has flat been great. Aloha Spirit yesterday 
They had really good calico bass fishing, 18 guys with 56 calico bass, 12 barracuda. Limits on the sheephead, you cannot beat that. Nice fishing on board the gray light as they had five white sea bass. Taking a look around, there's plenty of rockfish, whitefish, and sheephead. The Island Spirit with good rock fishing yesterday. Excellent fishing with our friend Daniel Hottaway out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Another guy that you should jump on board with. They've got plenty of room this week, and they would love to have you out there. They will fish the combo trips. They'll try to get a bass bite going or a sea bass or a halibut, a barracuda, and then fall back on that rockfish. Man, I'll tell you, the customer service on that rig and the fishing just outstanding. Get on the Island Spirit, 805-676. 3474. So, some good promise up there. You know, there's going to be another big white sea bass score here very, very soon. We'll continue to watch that for you very, very closely. 10% off anything you order at promarahi.com. Just put in FA at checkout and save yourself some bucks. So, you got to love that. I'm loving what's going on. On the local scene, Dan in San Diego picking at the bass. You know, it was much better about a month ago, but they're still catching some calico bass and some sand bass and then some rockfish occasional white sea bass or yellowtail for the half and three-quarter day boat same thing up there around oceanside dana is catching a lot of bass a lot of shorts with good action no question about it. occasional nice big fat halibut up here in the long beach san pedro area um, picking at the whitefish rockfish but there's been some good bass scores the native sun had good bass fishing with uh mostly sand bass but also some calico bass kicked in on that nothing wrong with that kind of a score we get you up to redondo and the bass bite has been pretty darn good especially on the twilight trips daytime not so good mostly rockfish how about tom durr on the pescador i don't know where tom was fishing and if i did i would be unable to tell you because tom would chase me around with a fillet knife if i were to divulge where he caught those nice big fat yellowtail pescador on a 5 a.m to 7 p.m trip what a great catch. Tom Dewar still doing it at the age of 176. Tom, nice going, my friend. Really nice fish. And Tom Dewar, his love for sport fishing and fishing in general, man, I'll tell you, it is impressive. The guy just keeps cranking, and that is a nice score out of Redondo on board the Pescador. I don't know how you can beat that up in the Channel Islands. We pretty much covered what's going on locally up there. Is my voice going to make this thing? I think so. Gorgeous morning. And uh, folks walking down the beach and having a really nice time. I've gotten to know so many lovely people by standing out here blah, blah, blind every single morning. Don't forget about Big Fish Bait and Tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They give away a free custom surf fishing rod every single month. This month, it's for the biggest spot fan Kroger. All you have to do is walk into Big Fish Bait and Tackle and just shout out Friedman Adventures and they'll properly usher you out the door. No, you just walk in there and buy the ruler that you're going to need to measure your surf fishing catches, and then they'll give you all the rules. Every month, it's a different species. This month, as I mentioned, it's spot fin croaker. Next month, who knows? It'll be halibut or yellow fin croaker or corbina, something like that. But every single month, they give away that rod, and there's no cost to you. All you have to do is buy the initial ruler, which, I don't know, I think it's 5 bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. Uh, do that and you are in. Surf fishing has been pretty active up and down the coast. I like seeing some of what I have been seeing. I see no bird life at all, but I did see dolphin feeding in the surf. Maybe you've seen that behind me as I've been chatting away with you all. Yellowfin croaker, a few halibut, good corbina fishing, a few barred perch yesterday. My son Philip was down in Huntington Beach and caught a barred perch that was about that big. It wasn't very big, but Hey, man, just getting out and seeing this gorgeous ocean is where the Santa Monica Bay up there around the Topaz Rock area. There's been some really good Corbina fishing going on all the way up to County Line. We've been seeing some bar perch and yellowfin croaker, occasional spot fin croaker on the bay. All right, my friends, it's a gorgeous Monday morning. I don't know how it can get any more beautiful with that full moon and that sunrise and that beautiful eastern Pacific. It is flat gorgeous, I hope. If you're not out sport fishing today, you're walking on the beach and taking this all in, whether you're surf fishing or just going for a walk. This is a blessing. It's a precious gift that we are so lucky to have. And I'm lucky to have all of you. 
Thanks for all the likes, sharing the videos, subscribing to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.